Hello everyone, this is Hena and welcome to another tutorial of Delinear Marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you create a crunch effect or the splatter effect just like a paintbrush dropouts or the splatter or the splash that, that you can easily create in Adobe Illustrator and you can use these, these sort of effects in your creatives and this is very simple and easy technique that, that I'm going to show you what you have to do. You just need to take this ellipse tool from here and see Simply drag a lips with uh, without any filling color and just you just need to keep keep the stroke on place and now we have to choose this knife option by default it's in under the eraser tool uh, so when you will go over the eraser then you can find out the knife tool from here and what you have to do uh, you need to chop this over by using this knife so this is very simple and easy you just need to badly chop this like this you need to create a straight line first or whatever the line is that you are creating make sure that it need to be chopping like this so i'm doing this as that it will be the, the end result will be quite uh, as part of the requirement because we are creating the dropouts or the splashes, so it need to be uh, make sure this there should be no big spaces. So just like this, we are just need to complete it and. So you can see that how it would be look like after doing these things. Now you can see the lines are so thick. So I'm going to change the stroke point to 0.5. So it will be a little thinner now. And here, what and after selecting this one, I want to choose the vertical distribute center from here. If it's not available in your tool bar, then you can go into the window. And here you can find it in a line, um, in a line option or you can press shift F7 from your keyboard and now it will be looking like this. Here you can select it again, go into the effect and here you can choose the roughen option from the start and transform and increase the size, turn on the preview so you can see that how it would be look like and make sure the corner points are on here because we don't need the smooth one or might be the smooth one. You can choose it, it's just depend upon your requirement but right now I'm keeping this corner points intact here. Okay, press OK. So it will be looking like this now. And here I'm choosing it again and going to the effect. Here you can choose the transform option from the start and transform. And now I want to check, mark a check on the random. And here turn on the preview mode and make sure your middle point is on. And here I want to take a one copy from here and increase the angle to around 42 degree. And now we have to move it as we want to make it a splatter format. So you can increase it like this or you can, you know, move it in a horizontal direction. So it will look like this. Now I want to make it a little tiny. So I'm just reducing it uh, and the scaling option or might be the 0%. So you can see how it would be look like after doing these things. So it's looking like this now. And in the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm simply decreasing the size like this. Here, decreasing more. So it, it's looking like this. Now we have to create a brush for this, for this splatter. So I'm going into the window here and I will choose the brush option. Otherwise you can press F5 to detect your brushes window. And I have to add this uh, splatter into this. And so what you am going to do, I just select it. And here you can drag it in your brushes library and create uh, our brush, press OK and we we'll choose the method that is turns and shades and whatever the changes that you want to make then you can also do it later and i want to press ok from here and your brush is added into your library okay so now i'm removing from here 
and I want to choose this paint brush option and I'm simply creating this brush so you can see that how beautifully it's creating the splash effect so it depends upon you how do you want to create these effects and uh, how it should be look like for uh, I want to create in different dimensions like this so this is all depend upon you that how do you want to create it and how it should be look like Okay, so this is very simple and easy way to create these brushes you can decrease the size as well and if you want you can do it like this yeah. so these are we have created so far and now what I'm going to do I'm simply taking the one and here I want to expand the appearance like here this and go into the object again and expand it again to change because I want to change the color here so because I have already chosen these um, different uh, uh, points there are so many points in this uh, this pattern so it takes a little time and here you can change the color as well so I'm going to change it to this one can see how the colors are forming here simply take like this and here I want to create another color and here you can take another color like white so so these are the little things that you can easily do it and uh, you can perform your work um, uh, with more creativity. So these are the simple techniques. By using that, you can create these splatter brushes. And here I want to show you if you don't have time and you are in, okay, you want to do it. And uh, what you can do, you can just go over here and in your brushes uh, library and here you can find vector packs and here is the crunch brushes vector pack that is by default added in your adobe illustrator suite so you can find it there are so many options that you can take from here and you can create a uh, different type of uh, you know uh, brushes so these are the simple techniques that i shared with you by using that you can create your custom brushes and if you want you can also use the by default uh, you know switch uh, or the vector packs of uh, adobe illustrator thank you so much for watching i will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye